homies, welcome. Today, we're doing an account review for a lucky gamer here in the Twitch chat. First come, first serve is gonna get their account reviewed and roasted by your boy and the chat here. We're here to help your account get better. I'm gonna go in there with my fine tooth comb and figure out what I think you guys can work on to get your account 36 star in the abyss, baby. Easy clap. Okay, we've got our lucky contestant. Lucky or unlucky, depending on how hard we're gonna be. Here we are in Awesome's account. As you guys can see, they are AR56 and by definition, a Nilu simp. Solid character to simp for. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be fun and there's always something to learn from watching somebody else's account. Maybe we can have a couple laughs along the way. Uh-oh, it's the sword. Good things to come. It's a good sign of good things to come. Let's see what characters we got at level 90. Nilu, Coco, Jean, Yaimiko. Wow, those are the only characters level uh, 90. They were AR-56, so they're not like, you know, completely maxed out. <laughs> I, I respect the, you know, level 79 hustle. I get it, you know, that you, maybe you'll eventually get their forehead. A ton of really good five stars. I mean, You've got Kokomi for amazing heals, Jean's amazing heals, high damage with Yaimiko, Kazuha, Aika, and Yoimiya, Shingcho, Bennett, Chong Ling, Deluke level one, not even level 20 for the free full. Maybe you lost a few 50 50s here and there, but come on, huh? Okay, let's take a look. Obviously, we got level 90 with a ton of HP needle. Key of Kasha suit at level 90. It's R1, kind of embarrassing. Wanderer's troop and two-piece tenacity. Yeah, I don't think you two-piece elemental mastery is that good, personally, but she doesn't have that much better to run with her. That's kind of the problem. She does proc a few blooms herself, so like it's fine. Until they give us another like HP set, um, she doesn't really need energy recharge, so like, I respect it. Okay, we're at C0, cool. We're not dealing with the total whale, but based. You love to see a triple crown. Nilu doesn't use her autos. That's not what it's about. It's about the statement. It's about the clout. <laughs> okay. You know, no crit, no crit damage. That's cool. Triple seven. Why does HP always hit triple seven? I feel like that happens a lot. All right. Ooh, finally a juicer. We love to see this. Her stats don't matter that much, but like we might as well get some crit. So when she comes in, uses her skills, yada, yada, yada. She does as much damage as possible. Nice little HP. Flat HP is great. Crit damage, EM, not bad. A Little bit of EM, decent crit stats and HP percent. Not bad, dude. Nilu's, Nilu's looking pretty good. 22% crit rate and 102% crit damage. This isn't what she's made to do. You want to stack HP on her. And then she's going to, with the sword, give the rest of the team more armor mastery and et cetera, and make blooms more damage. So, I mean, dude, it's not really that big a deal. The cool thing about Nilo is she doesn't need super good artifacts. Da Coco, level 90, you love to see it. Pretty low HP, so obviously I'm gonna assume this is an element mastery build. And as my eyes scroll lower, we see we've got a thousand EM on Kokomi. A thousand floating dreams. Oh, I'm so jealous. I tried to pull this on my birthday. I got a thundering pulse. Gilded Dreams four piece, love to see it. Homie, if you love Coke Me and you love the EM, the new artifact set's probably gonna be better. Maybe it's not worth it if the other artifact set means nothing to you. No Shao, no Wanderer, no bitches. Constellation zero, talents 888. Very solid, dude. What's the crit right here? Hmm. Only 50 crit damage, we're gonna have to work on that. Elemental Mastery circlet with energy recharge and HP, cool. That's solid. Whoa, this is a good one too. Elemental Mastery with 14% HP, one flat HP. This piece is like legit a near perfect like Kokomi piece. Elemental Mastery Sands with a little bit of HP. Uh, the defense rolls suck and one crit roll, that's fine. Dude, not bad. More HP, energy recharge. Dude, these are beautiful Kokomi pieces. These rival the of my own. Dude, this is only level 17, bro. This is already a fire artifact. And this was only 16. My God. Man, this Kokomi's cracked though. And these are only 16. Do you just have no like EXP or? Yeah, a little low, a little low on the EXP department. Dude, your Kokomi is awesome, man. And she could be even better. Bros, I didn't talk about my mustache in the intro. I fumbled the bag, dude. Let's take a look at Sweet Baby Jean. Jade Cutter. Oh my God, this is a weapon banner puller player. Either this dude is lucky or they're a weapon banner puller. Constellation zero. Wow, 
10, 10, 10. Here we go. 78, 132. A little bit of healing bonus, a little bit of VR. Gene doesn't really need that much ER. Crit damage, we can bring that up. Let's see what the weakest artifacts we got here. Crit damage on Bloodstained Chivalry. Yeah, that already is pretty... Uh-huh. Uh, animal damage. Uh-huh. Attack percent sands. Crit energy recharge. <laughs> Why is it hitting flat attack? Okay, crit rate, 6.2. This is not bad. It's only level 16. That one's chill. And then EM, crit rate, HP, EM. Dude, the thing about Viridescent is like, it doesn't need to be good. The same thing about Nilu. She doesn't need to have good artifacts. <laughs> I like your style. Smart, calculated Genshin Gaming, okay? Only pulling for characters that don't need good artifacts base. Back in my day, we needed 80% crit rate, 160% crit damage to beat the Abyss up both floors uphill both ways dude gene looks cool man like i can harp on the artifacts they're not great but like viridescent so annoying to get good sets like I, I don't blame you at all let's take a look over at mother miko let's go level 90 and did i did i even need to was there any doubt it's only level 80 though so cringe crit rate crit damage unfortunately hitting defense a bit it's okay mm, yeah Hit that level minute mastery. It's okay. Attack sands. A lot of crit damage. Got pretty lucky on these hits, gonna be honest. You can hit EM and it's not bad either. That's, that's a pretty decent piece, actually. Electro damage on set with only one defense roll. Not too bad. And then crit rate, crit damage. Eh, okay. Yeah, so these artifacts are pretty coped. She's running emblem because my thundering fury pieces suck. Let's take a look at your thundering fury pieces. Let's see if they really do suck as bad as you say. That one is not terrible. <laughs> I mean... Hey, this is good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I look at this artifact. I look at the stats. 19% defense. I look to the left and it's on Yunjin. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know. I, I understand your pain. Thundering Fury, I love that it's in the strong box now because it's a little bit more accessible. Everyone out there listening, the strong box is worth it when you've gotten to a certain level you've got your characters leveled up you've got their talents leveled up you just need to get as much new artifacts as you can the strong box is totally totally worth it the stats look great but like imagine how much like they could be like way more fire she's still looking good she's got good er em's low but she doesn't need em triple crowns we'll get there and C0. Yeah, dude. And then four artifacts. I know you said like you're running it because your pieces suck, but you can run double attack. Let's check out the Kazoo Kid. 788. Man, why you got to spoil the Iron Sting, Kazuha? I wanted to go down the lit. R1. Respect that. 688. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not going to harp on these artifacts, right? I'm going to keep it a buck. For people who do use a lot of animal characters, I really do recommend like strong boxing or farming Viridus and Venner until you can get two sets. All right, we got 82 on Ayayaka. Weapons, we've got the Amenoma Kageuchi. Wizard Shrayer, Constant Zero. Talents, 9, 9, 10. Let's check the Arties. Crit damage, a little bit of EM, a little bit of attack, attack percent. Honestly, dude, with how high her crit gets, like with Blizzard Shrayer and all that, it, this piece isn't horrendous cryo damage 10 percent crit this one's a little more a little more eh? attack uh not bad dude 7.8 24.9 on attack percent sans blizzard trailer that's hard to get Ooh, that's a juicy one whoa that has 63 defense and it's still this good crit rate mm, yeah so these artifacts are pretty mid 36, 195, and then you, of course, you have to factor in cryo resonance plus blizzard share. So you go up to 90? Sure. Yo, I'm Mia, Shiminawa's, Constellation Zero, Talents 10, 9, 6. Dude, the characters you care about are very well maintained in terms of talents and all that stuff. So artifact Shiminawa's, crit rate 9.7. Yeah, this artifact is not good. <laughs> that one's okay. Mm -hmm. Is this is this the best pyro game we got? We got twenty four percent defense. Is this your Zinyan piece or what? Thundering Pulse is carrying this really hard, and her Ascension crit stat. So I mean, like she looks all right, but like keeping it a buck. There's a lot of room for improvement here. We're getting into the support characters where I don't really 
care as much. We got instructor Shang Ling. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Look, I know we're moving down the list of your characters, so I'm not gonna sit here and like harp on the quality of your level 40 Barbara or whatever. But looking at your list of characters, like the ones I can see that I think should be leveled up. I mean, homie, you got Nahida. She's level 80. Looking at your mainest characters, I think Nilu and Kokomi, their builds are fine. I think even Jean's build was fine. Yai Miko, especially because of how much you like her. She's got her weapons. She's got the triple crowns. I think your first character that needs a bit of improvement in terms of your DPS. And then I would also say um, Yoi Mia. I guess the final one I'd say is Zhongli, level 70. Bro, Zhongli's cracked, man. Does he have four piece tenacity at least? He does. Zhongli just works so great on Yoi Mia. You said you love your Yoi Mia. You said that she can clear 36 stars. That seems like a barely, if I'm being completely honest, because the Yoi Mia artifact quality was a bit sus. <laughs> What's the cost? I hope it's more than C1. C2, C2. Okay, just C1. As for artifact domains, I think that would be beneficial for you to farm. I would say Emblem of Severed Fate to make uh, Shang Ling stronger, to make Yoi Mia stronger. And then you can take the doo-doo pieces and maybe put them into Thundering Fury. Then we can improve Yoi Miko, we can improve Yoi Mia, and we can improve Shang Ling, Xing Cho, all those characters at the same time. Oh my God, there's another Thundering Pulse? Almost bow level one feels no gone you, man. Oh my god. No. No mother. <sighs> okay, guys, let's get into the good stuff. 16 sweet uh madams. Okay, I, that's good, but only two soccer mochi. Let's check this around a deep uh Bruh. So dude. Ignore everything I said about like, you know, maybe making Yai Miko better, making Yoi Mia better. I think you should mainly be focusing on improving your Serenity Teapot, man. Oh shit, this is the dumbest thing to judge. 86, 71, 81, 64, 67, 18, 10, 11. Hey man, I respect that. You're leaving a little bit of serotonin on the map for you to go grab. On a, on a lonely, boring evening of gaming. You know what I'm saying? Respect. <laughs> there he is, the level one to Lou. I do kind of want to see this Nilu in action. Coco! <laughs> oh my God, they're almost all dead though. Bro, this bloom damage is insane. Dude, this team is a blessing and a curse. The damage is too insane for any one mortal to wield. Run from the blooms, Kokomi, run! <laughs> that was the account review for our homie and chat. Awesome. We could see they had a lot of power to totally clear the abyss. Maybe we gotta, you know, buff out those scratches in the weak parts of our account and whatnot. But awesome. Thank you, my friend, for letting me go onto your account and show it to the lovely people here on YouTube. That is gonna do it for this vid. Homies, if you guys do wanna ever come check out the stream and drop a follow, it would mean the world to me. Maybe even drop a Twitch Prime. Any primers in chat? Get one of those free subs on the channel. And of course, shout outs to the patrons, Poison Tongue Boy, Zick, and Baked Sayu, the homies supporting the channel over on Patreon. We appreciate them very much. Subscribe for our next video. We're coming out with banging Genshin videos and shorts all the time. So lads, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, everybody.